What is up guys? I'm John the Potter. Welcome to the studio. Today we have an exciting video for you guys. This was gas firing number 10. So we got this gas kiln at the beginning of the summer. We have done nine firings and this is the 10th one. And this one, we're working on this project where we're making a hundred Christmas spirit candles. So we're working with a local candle maker to make, we have 10 different shapes a uh, hundred different pieces and some are going to be fired in the gas kiln some were fired in the electric kiln and some are the exact same glaze combinations so i'm going to be able to show you some of the differences between gas fired and electric fired so we have lots of reds and greens and whites um stuff like that so this is an exciting kiln it's probably the most packed kiln that we've ever had there's got to be at least 125 pieces in here because they are all kind of little uh like this so got an exciting video it's gonna be fun to unload show you what we've been working on some of the best combinations uh, I can already see some really interesting ones this is a combo like look at that that's gorgeous with the Minnesota loon so we are working on lots of holiday stuff right now and our first restock of the holiday season is the first Sunday of November whatever it is November 3rd or 4th or something like that uh, I'll put it on the screen right here so if you want to check out any pots, they will have a bunch going up that day. Uh, and then we have some other restocks, online restocks, as well as an art market going on at Mocha Monkey. If you want to drive to Waconia, December 1st, 2nd, 3rd, there will be like 20 artists at least upstairs at the Mocha Monkey. These Christmas spirit candles are going to be a really fun little addition. Good old fashioned unloading. Here is a, woo, another loon. So we're doing these Minnesota with loons in them those are really cool this is a kind of a northern lights combo buttercream black and metallic green whoo it's kind of hot but exciting stuff this red combo is kind of sweet cinnabar it's red gloss over cinnabar got a couple of these we're making these little baby espresso cups the thought was that these little espresso cups would actually be like ornaments so they could hang on the tree and then you could also double use them as espresso cups. Pretty cool. So that's all the same combo right there. Wow, got a lot of dripping so far I see. Holy cow, but those are sweet. Nice. Nice, that's beautiful. Really cool. Sand dollar over Riptide. Those turned out really sweet. Wow, that's really cool. That blue surf, holy cow. That's gorgeous. Blue surf is really, really nice. Man, man, man. All those passion flower. That is like the best combo ever. But it's so drippy. Oh, very, very frustrating when you think that you're gonna have these perfect mugs come out and man, they just dripped everywhere. Holy cow. Such a cool glaze combo. Such an unfortunate running situation. Dang, 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 dang. Oh my goodness. Green tea over copper roar. So this is wood fire porcelain, a lot of it. And I think because it was porcelain, it really, really dripped. Those are really cool. Espresso cups in green, red. That is awesome. I really like that glaze combo. I mean, this is the this is the best one. I mean, it's really, really a cool glaze combo, but jeez, weeks. Yeah, look at that. That is super cool. Look how purpley pink that got on there. Wow. That's really interesting. So much dripping. Holy cow, that was cool. That's very cool. And then here is a bunch of the Christmas. Wow. That just turned out so cool. Wow. And then here is white. Wow, that's really sweet. Look at that. 
Here's just straight up white gloss. What do you think of that? Nice. Here, here's green tea over alabaster. Interesting. That doesn't look Christmassy at all. We got some pinholes. Man, pinholes. Struggleville. Got some really cool stuff. This one is crazy looking. Look at that. So cool. Sweet. Yes, those look really good. Really cool. A little speckled red. The white on the inside. This one's probably hard to tell on the camera, but it's like a metallic y black. It's pretty cool. is a lot of pots holy cow that was definitely by far the fullest kiln i have to say we have a lot of really really cool stuff that came out we also have a lot of stuff that dripped a ton and so thank goodness for the advancer kiln shelves so that all the bottoms are fine and so now we just have to take a grinding so diamond core grinding disc will help get us smooth and into a somewhat sellable mug. It's still a little disappointing because it won't, the bottoms won't be perfect, but we can get them pretty close. So every firing is just more learning, more figuring out stuff. So I know that wood fire porcelain, and I knew that just, you can't apply so much glaze. I even added a lot of water to the glaze, but well, 10 firings in and we're still figuring things out. I mean, I, I would guess that 100 firings in, we'll still be figuring stuff out. So, otherwise, all the candles came out really sweet. Some really, really cool ones, like that. You know, looks like a little Christmas tree. It's pretty sweet. The white ones, I really like this white glaze. Even like that white drippiness over top. So, lots of lots of good, lots of bad. Anyway. A lot of this stuff will be up for sale, especially some of these really cool, like, carved mugs. Uh, those will be all be up for sale on our next restock, so check it out. All right, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.